So today we are going to discuss the function of atria and the uh, waveform of the atrial contraction that is the uh, jugular venous pulse or JVP. We are discussing the cardiac cycle and this atrial contraction is an important uh, part of the uh, cardiac cycle because the cardiac cycle, con cycle consists of the filling of the atria, contraction of the atria, then uh, filling of the ventricle, then contraction or systole of the ventricles and then diastole or uh, diastole of the uh, ventricles. So blood comes from the head and the lower body and that fills the atria, uh, right atrium and oxygenated blood comes from the lung and that atria contracts and uh, con the blood from the atria goes into the ventricles the right the right atria uh, at the right ventricle contract the blood or uh, when it, uh, in during systole it pu push the blood into the lungs and in the lungs the blood get oxygenated and it returns to the right uh, left atrium and from the left atrium the blood is contracted into the ventricle and during during the syst systole this blood is pumped into the whole body so that is the whole cardiac cycle but what is the role of atrial contraction in the whole cardiac cycle basically when the blood comes from the head and neck region this portion is bringing the blood from the head and neck region and this portion is bringing the blood from the lower body this deoxygenated blood coming from the upper and lower body it fills the right atrium the left atrium is being filled with the oxygenated blood at one and the same time but we will just discuss and we will focus on this right atrium at the moment although we have discussed that in the heart two circuits or two cycles are occurring simultaneously the two atria are being filled simultaneously they contract and then the two ventricles are uh, con uh, contracting uh, simultaneously known as the systole and but the blood flow is in the different circuit the right uh, ventricle is pushing the blood into the lungs we are for ex oxygenation purpose and then the uh, left ventricle is uh, con contracting the blood into the whole body but the role of the atria in the contraction process is very much uh, limited Normally, when the valves, the atrioventricular valves open during diastole, the, the part of the cardiac cycle in which the blood, the, the ventricles get filled with the blood, the right ventricle get filled with the deoxygenated blood and the left get filled with the oxygenated blood. In this in this time during the filling of the blood the blood that was present in the atria in the right and left atria 80 percent of that blood 80 percent of that blood it comes into the ventricle without the contraction of the atria so as soon as the contraction of the ventricles is over and diastole starts a lot of blood has already reached here it is waiting for the pressure to decrease when the blood from here is gone here and from this ventricle into the aorta so there is the pressure is released and the valves under the veil under the pressure of the blood that is present in the atria these valves get opened so when valves get opened initially they were closed so when they get opened 80% of the blood they flows into the ventricle without the contraction of atria so the atrial contraction basically can, it is responsible for the contraction of only 20% of the blood that comes into the ventricle normally if the atria stop contracting is occurs in atrial fibrillation or AF which is a very common disease atrial fibrillation a condition in which atrial contraction is not occurring if atrial contraction is not occurring in as in atrial fibrillation 
still 80% of blood will be coming to the ventricles and the ventricles will be easily pumping this blood into the lungs and into the whole body and the the person the person or the patient will not be feeling any difficulty he will have no problem no problem in the doing daily life activities but when he is doing exercise when he is doing exercise then he will become breathless because the atria will not be able to contract so he will he will not have he will not be having he will not be getting this 20% extra amount which he should normally get during exercise because the demand of the human body the demand of the human body this ventricle is contracting the blood into the body and from the body it is coming again here after deoxygenation so the demand of the body in exercise is increased demand is increased but the atrial contraction is not occurring so the person will feel breathless and will feel uh, during exertion uh, he will lack that 20% of the blood which could have come if atria has contracted so the the concept to understand is that 80% of the blood from atria comes into the ventricle without contraction of the atria and any person with the, who is having af or with who is having no atrial contraction can continue his daily life activities normally but during exercise or exertion he will have a uh, difficulty he will get breathless he will get fatigue he will have difficulty doing the exertion because he will lack that 20% extra amount of blood now coming towards the waves of atrial contraction or the jvp when the atria contract when the atria contract the pressure is transferred into the veins and with the help of jugular vein jugular vein this atrial contraction can be seen in the neck of the patient of any person and that wave form that changes in the contraction of jugular vein which can be seen in the neck that is known as jvp or jugular venous pressure and there are three very much important waves in the jvp first of all is the atrial contraction a wave when the atria contract when the atria contract some force is transferred here and some vibration is transferred here which causes an upward spike in the pulse in the pressure of the jugular vein and that is recorded as a wave as soon the atrial contraction is over the pressure in the atria starts decreasing atria the pressure the blood has gone after the contraction the blood has gone into the ventricles so the pressure in atria has decreased so the wave has gone down here but now the ventricles will contract systole will occur as soon as this contraction of the ventricles occur the atrioventricular wave they will move upward they will close they will get the open valve will get closed and they will move upward so due to the movement upward movement of the valves or due to the bulge of the valves of the atrio bulge of the atrioventricular valves due to the contraction of the ventricle another wave will be recorded in the jugular vein that is known as the c wave so a is for the atrial contraction c is due to the bulge of the vein and this occurs at the start of this occurs at the start of ventricular contraction so this wave is occurring at the start of ventricular contraction then the is the ventricle has contracted the blood will go out and then the blood will come again when the blood will come again at the end at the end of the at the end of the contraction the blood the atria will have filled again the valves are closed closed so the atria has been filled with blood again because of the filling of this vent atria here the here the atria has emptied 
due to a small bulge of the whale is a small wave occurred here but the atria was empty so the pressure started decreasing but as soon as the blood started coming again the pressure in the atria started increasing again and again and that wave is recorded as v wave so that v is due to the filling of the atria due to and that blood is coming directly from the veins into the atria while the veins are closed and that that wave basically occurs at the end of systole so it is the end of the systole or the ventricular contraction and here is the start of systole or the start of ventricular contraction so what is the function of atria in the cardiac cycle atria is contraction of atria is basically responsible for pulling extra 20% blood into the ventricles and that too is required only in exertion or during exercise normally the 80% of the blood that flows directly into the ventricle without the atrial contraction is sufficient for the daily uh, human life activities but during exertion the extra 20% is needed and if atrial contraction is not occurring due to some conditions like atrial fibrillation then the person or the patient will feel breathless or will be fatigued get fatigued and will not be able to do uh, exertions the atrial contraction can be recorded in the wave form especially in the jugular vein in the neck and this 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 jvp or jugular venous uh, pulse or pressure it has three important waves first is the a wave that is due to the atrial contraction when the atria contract force is transferred into the vein and it is seen in the neck the wave the vein moves that is the a wave but as soon as the atria contract the blood goes into the ventricle and then the ventricles contract the ventricles contract the waves bulge now the here the atria has emptied so the pressure is decreasing it has started decreasing because the blood has gone out into the ventricles so the pressure is decreasing but as soon as the waves the bulge into the atria a small wave known as the c wave occur and that is at the start of ventricular contraction or at the start of systole then again the systole is occurring and at the same time blood is coming into the atria and atria is being filled with the blood that is coming from the lungs into the left and from the human body into the left uh, the uh, left atrium and that that filling is basically responsible for increasing the pressure again and is causing the v wave so these three waves and they can be seen in the neck so they are seen on the physical examination the waves of the ecg which we discussed in last lecture the ecg the p wave the qrs and the t wave they are basically electric recording and they are basically recorded with the help of machine they are electrical activity but they gvp are mechanical waves and it can be seen in the neck so hope you have understood this small but important lecture thanks a lot for watching the video